Welcome back, Pet Parent. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's episode, again, is a solo episode. It's going to be short and sweet. I have a ton of incredible interviews coming up for you, but this is something that's just been on my heart, something I've been thinking about a lot lately, and I wanted to discuss it with you first. Have you tried training methods that just didn't work? Do you feel that your pet is not getting his or her nutritional needs met? Are illnesses and bad behavior your daily norm? You're going to want to join me on the Pet Parenting Reset, where you'll hear interesting and informative interviews and get solutions to all your pet problems. I'm your host, Jessica L. Fisher. So I have been trying to figure out how to restructure my online video-based dog training course and like the main one. I have a few ancillary ones with like one-offs, how to do one certain thing, like a recall. Um, I'm actually putting together one for a resource guarding right now that is just going to be a one-off. But the main course that covers any and everything you could want or need for you know training your companion animal at home this isn't something uh, obviously for training um working dogs or service animals or anything like that it is it's for your companion animals and what i have been thinking about a lot lately and it hit it like a light bulb went off the other day i was watching some videos in the Dog Nutrition Summit um, hosted by Dr. Judy Morgan, and she had Dr. Connor Brady on. Now, if you're not familiar with Dr. Connor Brady, um, he is an incredible human being. I have to say it's it can be difficult at times to, to listen <laughs> to him because he has a very thick accent. I think he's from Australia. And this is his newest book, feeding dogs. And if, if you're not watching the video, I'll um, make sure to put a link in the description of the podcast. It's an incredible book um, that I have been going through slowly. But as I listened to him talk, it a light bulb went off. What is it about me as a dog trainer that distinguishes me from pretty much every other most other, I will say, because there may be some others, very, very few. What do I do that they don't do? And what? why is this important to you as the pet parent? And what I know that I do that I have not met any other um, dog trainers that do this is I focus very heavily on health and nutrition Why do I do that? It's because it's all connected. So I want to read you a quick passage from Dr. Connor Brady's book. It says, when we think of the gut flora, we assume it is simply bacteria. However, in there you have a myriad of bacterial communities, fungi, all sorts of single-celled protozoans, and numerous viruses all whizzing around. Living in something close to harmony, a harmony brought about by competition. When all is well, the good guys, commensal microbes, keep the bad guys, pathogenic microbes, in check. The payoff for feeding them has positive repercussions for your health. A perfect symbiotic relationship carefully developed since you first crawled from the primordial ooze. However, should something upset that balance dysbiosis, and the bad guys have a chance to flourish, their presence and byproducts tend to come at the expense of host fitness. The disruption of normal digestion alone can result in a myriad of health issues for the animal. There will be less house cleaning, less gut repair, more inflammation. You will suffer less protection from pathogenic bacteria. Above all, you will absorb less of the beneficial by- byproducts normally produced by the com- commensals. As your gut flora is responsible for more than 90% of the feel-good hormone serotonin, let me say that one more time, as your gut flora 
is responsible for more than 90% of the feel-good hormone serotonin in the body. The inevitable consequence is a negative impact on behavior. Studies show disrupting the gut flora has negative psychological consequences in practically every animal studied, including dogs. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. It's so important. Studies show disrupting the gut flora has negative psychological consequences in practically every animal studied, including dogs. The good news is we can eat our way out of a funk, too. We know the consumption of probiotic yogurts, fermented vegetables, and kefir, foods that contain life, has enormous physical and mental health benefits. That's why we call them probiotics, which is Latin meaning for life. Behavior in rats and humans can be significantly improved in the low individual by feeding probiotics. While kibble manufacturers boast their products are chemically barren of any life whatsoever, whole food proudly contains life. Animals on dry food will never enjoy the obvious health benefits of consuming probiotics from their food. So in a nutshell, that is why I am so heavily focused on health and nutrition for our dogs and our cats. It directly affects their mood and their behavior. And when your dog feels good, they're going to learn better. When they feel good, they're going to understand better. They're going to grasp new concepts easier and quicker. When they feel bad, exactly the opposite happens. Think about how you feel and how you behave when you don't feel good. When you don't feel good, when you're hangry, which is an actual thing, when you are sick, when you're depressed, when you just feel bleh, crummy for seemingly no reason sometimes, but there's always a reason, you can get really grumpy cranky, lash out at people. Our dogs do the same thing. Our cats do the same thing. When I cannot tell you how many times I've gone into somebody's home. I've talked to them about health and nutrition. I've helped them understand and showed them how to train certain things with their dogs. They provide better nutrition for their pets. Their pets feel better the pet parent, while I always advocate for at least some level of training, contact me and say, my dog is a different dog. Yeah, absolutely. Because they feel better. And food is the key to all of it. Now, of course, there are other things. Um, there are supplements. There are, you know, when our dogs are actually sick, you know, we need, we need to do some housekeeping. There are other, and, and I do like when at all possible to use um, the most natural remedies that we can, um, but th there are some times where we do need to use traditional or conventional or allopathic medicine, whatever you want to call it. And I am not against that. Um, there is a symbiosis in, in integrating all of these modalities to figure out what is best for the animal in front of you because every animal is an individual just like us. So that's where I'm going with this. I'm really going to be a in, in my, if you've, if you've purchased the online membership in the past, you know that I do talk about health and nutrition, but it's at the end. It's kind of like you have to get through everything, a hundred videos or so, um, and get to the end to where I'm like, by the way, health and nutrition is so important for your dog. I'm really going to shift the focus of this and put health and nutrition front and center. And then we can get into the actual, you know, mechanism of training in the online courses and for me, that is really where I'm headed, especially because uh, I, I have another <laughs> um, really cool thing that I'm working on behind the scenes um, where I'm going to be able to expand my offerings to you, to pet parents. 
Uh, I'm really excited for it. I, 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 I'll tease it, but I can't really tell you yet. It's going to be a few months before I can really come out and say, here we go, guys. Let's, you know, get on the bus. We're, we're doing this. Um, but I am very, very lucky. Uh, I feel blessed at least to, I'm going to be working with Dr. Ruth Roberts and learning from her. Um, she is an integrative, holistically integrative veterinarian with a heavy focus in acupuncture and traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. Um, to, I, I'm going to get to learn traditional Chinese veterinary medicine from her, basically. And um, this is this is really, really cool. I am so excited for it. And it is just one more thing that I'm going to be able to offer you, pet parents. But for now, I want to let you know that you might see some different branding um, on social media because... To, to distinguish myself from others in the market, I, I have to adjust and say, why am I different and how can I help you and your dog? And by helping you and your dog figure out the health and nutrition part, the training part will come so much easier. So I told you this was going to be a really short episode. It is a really short episode. It was just on my heart. I wanted to tell you about it. I want you to understand. I, I would love to get your feedback on it as well. Um, let me know how you see that as being a, a distinguishing characteristic um, for a dog trainer. And if it is something that you're excited to see, um, I, you know, I, I, I'm just here to help you and your pets. And the only way to, for me to be able to do that is to actually be able to get in front of you. And I, of course, you're listening to the podcast, so you already know who I am and I appreciate you so much. But to get this message out to more and more people, and that is how I'm going to be marketing and distinguishing is that I'm a dog trainer. I am a positive reinforcement dog trainer, but I put health and nutrition at the forefront of everything I do because it's going to make or break everything. So with that, I'm going to end today's episode short, but sweet, more incredible interviews to come. I cannot wait for them and I can't wait for you to hear them. So make sure you're following the podcast. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, reach out to me on the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, with that, please, please, please give your pet some extra love from me. Have a great rest of your day. Until next week, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. Make sure that you're following the show so you never miss an episode. And please take a moment to rate the show on your podcast app. I'd also love it if you'd share this podcast with your friends and family so that they can benefit from the information to help their pets live long, happy lives, too. Don't forget to take advantage of this special discount as a listener today and get access to over 100 online videos and my online dog training, The Furry Family Coach. Just go to thefurryfamilycoach.com and use code PODCAST at checkout to get your first month for only $7. That's thefurryfamilycoach.com and use code PODCAST at checkout to get your first month for only $7. I can't wait to have you join and see you on the inside. Oh, oh.